spiritual mantan imagine waking up one day and realizing that everything you believed about reality was only a fragment of the truth what if i told you that the world you see the routines the limits the so-called rules is just the tip of the iceberg beneath the surface lies an entirely different dimension of understanding the universe isn't as rigid as we've been led to believe reality isn't a fixed script but a blank canvas waiting for your brush strokes here's the wild part the top 1% those who've unlocked the mysterious 33r degree knowledge have known this all along they don't live by the rules most of us accept as unchangeable instead they operate on principles that let them shape the world around them they're not reacting to life they're creating it they see the invisible threads connecting everything and pull those strings to manifest what they desire sound impossible well think of the last time you thought about something a person an event and then saw it appear in your life was it just a coincidence or was it your mind tuning into the quantum field summoning that reality into existence the truth is reality bends to the energy you project but most of us are stuck in patterns that keep us in the same loop over and over again here's where today's journey begins we're going to crack open the secrets of how the universe works not just theoretically but practically you'll learn how your thoughts beliefs and actions are constantly shaping your experience whether you realize it or not and more importantly you'll discover how to consciously take control you've been living life like a passenger on a train thinking the tracks are set but the top 1% know the tracks are flexible They've mastered the art of switching lanes, jumping timelines, and creating outcomes that seem impossible to the average person. And guess what? These principles aren't reserved for the elite. They're accessible to anyone willing to shift their perspective and take the reins. So, if you're ready to step out of the ordinary and into the extraordinary, buckle up. By the end of this, you won't just understand the 33rd degree knowledge you'll start living it. Ready to reshape your world? Let's dive in. Here's a truth that most people never realize. The world isn't what it is. It's what you perceive it to be. Your perception is like a lens through which you view reality. But here's the kicker. This lens isn't clear or objective. It's shaped by your experiences, beliefs, and emotions. And it filters everything you encounter. The question is, are you consciously adjusting this lens or are you letting it distort your reality without even noticing take this analogy imagine wearing a pair of glasses with tinted lenses if the lenses are red everything you see appears red if they're blue the world looks blue now apply this to your perception if you view life through a lens of scarcity you'll only notice lack no matter how much abundance is around you on the flip side if your lens is tuned to gratitude and opportunity, you'll start to see possibilities everywhere. The top 1% have mastered the art of cleaning and adjusting their lenses. They know that perception isn't passive, it's active. It's not something that happens to you, it's something you do. When you understand this, you realize that reality isn't fixed. It's as malleable as your perception of it. Think about your daily life. Have you ever woken up in a bad mood and suddenly everything seems to go wrong? Your coffee spills, traffic's worse than usual, and everyone seems to annoy you. That's not the universe conspiring against you, it's your perception amplifying the negative. The lens you're using is filtering out anything positive and magnifying every challenge. Now, let's flip the script. What if, instead of reacting to the world, you chose how to perceive it? What if you could train your mind to see opportunities in setbacks, lessons in failures, and abundance in every situation? That's exactly what the top 1% do. They see beyond the surface. They don't just accept reality, as it appears they mold it by choosing their perspective. So, the first step to bending reality is this. Realize your perception is a tool, not a truth. Start using it to shape your experiences rather than letting it shape you. The world isn't fixed, 
it's filtered, and you hold the power to adjust the filter. Let's dive deeper into one of the most profound truths. Your beliefs are the architects of your reality. If perception is the lens through which you view the world, then beliefs are the blueprint that shapes what you see. But here's the thing most people don't realize. Beliefs are not reactions to the world around you. They're the creators of it. Imagine building a house. Your beliefs are like the foundation and framework of that house. If the foundation is shaky or the blueprint flawed, the house will be unstable. In life, your beliefs determine the house of your reality. If you believe the world is a hostile place, you'll encounter hostility. If you believe in abundance and opportunity, you'll start to notice doors opening, where others see only walls. The top 1% understand this better than anyone. They treat their beliefs like a constantly evolving software program. They don't hold on to beliefs just because they've had them for years. Instead, they regularly ask, is this belief helping me? Or is it holding me back? If it's the latter, they rewrite the program. Think about the last time you faced a significant challenge. How did you perceive it? Did you see it as an external obstacle to overcome? Or did you recognize it as a reflection of an internal belief? Here's a powerful insight from the 33 RD degree knowledge. Every external challenge is a signal. It's the universe pointing to a belief that's no longer serving you. The moment you address and shift that belief, the challenge dissolves. Let's make this practical. Start by identifying a belief that's limiting you. Maybe you believe you're not smart enough, talented enough, or deserving of success. Challenge that belief. Ask yourself, where did this come from? Is it true? What would my life look like if I believed the opposite? When you start questioning your beliefs, you weaken their hold over you. The top 1% don't just believe in what's possible, they believe in the impossible. They don't accept limits imposed by society, upbringing, or past experiences. They expand their blueprint, knowing that the world will reshape itself to match. When you shift your beliefs, you don't just change your perception, you change the entire framework of your reality. And that's how the magic begins. Now, let's talk about identity, the single most powerful force shaping your life. If beliefs are the blueprint, your identity is the builder. Who you believe you are determines the boundaries of your potential. And here's the catch. Most people let their past define their identity, boxing themselves into a version of themselves that no longer serves them. Let's break this down. Have you ever said something like, I'm just not good at this, or I'm the kind of person who always struggles? That's your identity speaking. But here's what the top 1% understand. Identity is fluid, not fixed. It's not a fact, it's a story you tell yourself, and like any story, it can be rewritten. Imagine trying to run a marathon while carrying a backpack full of bricks. That backpack is your outdated identity, weighing you down with labels like not good enough, always unlucky or too shy. The top 1% know how to drop that backpack. They step into new identities, not based on their past, but based on the future they want to create. Here's how you can do it. Start by visualizing the version of yourself who has already achieved your goals. How do they think, act, and make decisions? What do they believe about themselves? Then start embodying that version of you now. Don't wait for proof. Don't wait for external validation. Walk, talk, and make choices as if you're already that person. This isn't about pretending or faking it. It's about aligning with the energy of the future you. Think of it like trying on a new outfit. At first, it might feel unfamiliar, even uncomfortable. But the more you wear it, the more natural it becomes. And soon, it doesn't just feel like you, it is you. Let's talk about time a concept we often take for granted, but rarely understand. Most of us live as if time is linear, the past is behind us. The present is now, and the future is something we march toward. But the top 1% armed with the secrets of 33 RD degree knowledge know that time isn't linear at all. It's flexible, fluid, 
and far more malleable than you've been led to believe. Think of time as a map. Every possible outcome, every potential future, exists simultaneously. The question isn't whether the future you want exists it already does. The question is, are you tuning into it? Imagine scrolling through a playlist of songs. The song you choose to play becomes your present experience, but the others don't disappear. They're just waiting for you to select them. Here's the breakthrough. The future isn't something that happens to you. It's something you create. Every thought, every emotion, every belief is like a signal you send into the quantum field. When you focus on a specific future, you're not just imagining it, you're drawing it into your present. The top 1% call this collapsing time. So, how do you collapse time? The first step is to stop obsessing over the gap between where you are and where you want to be. That gap creates resistance and keeps you stuck. Instead, act as if the future you want is already here. Align your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the version of yourself who has already achieved your desires. Let's make this practical. Say you want to achieve financial abundance. Most people focus on their current lack, thinking, I'll feel abundant once I have more money. But this only reinforces the gap. The top 1% do the opposite they feel abundant now, even if their bank account says otherwise. They embody the energy of abundance, and the universe responds by delivering opportunities, resources, and experiences that match that vibration. Let's get practical. How do you bridge the gap between the reality you have now and the one you want to create? The answer lies in action, but not just any action aligned action. The top 1% understand that the way you act has a profound impact on how the universe responds to you. Yet, here's where most people get it wrong. They act from a place of fear, desperation, or lack, and then wonder why they keep getting stuck in the same cycle. Think of action as a bridge. It connects where you are now with where you want to be. But if you're building that bridge with unstable materials, fearful thoughts, scattered intentions, it's no surprise that it collapses before you get to the other side. Aligned action, on the other hand, is like building a solid, direct pathway. It's intentional, purposeful, and infused with certainty. What does aligned action look like? It starts with the energy behind it. Most people take action while focusing on what they don't have. They want more money, but every step they take is fueled by scarcity. They want a loving relationship, but their actions are rooted in fear of loneliness. The result? They manifest more of what they're trying to escape. The top 1% flip this script. They take action as if their desires are already a reality. They make decisions from the mindset of someone who's already achieved their goals. Think of it like a performer, rehearsing for a role they don't wait for the stage to act the part. They embody the character fully, and when the curtain rises, they're ready. Here's a powerful analogy. Imagine you're rowing a boat. If you're rowing upstream against the current, you're expending all your energy fighting resistance. That's what it feels like to act from a place of lack. But when you row with the current, aligned with the flow of the universe, you move effortlessly toward your destination. That's aligned action. Now, let's talk about the universe, not as a distant external force, but as a partner in your journey. The top 1% don't see the universe as something they must conquer or manipulate. Instead, they view it as an ally, a co-creator in shaping their reality. This is a radical shift from the way most people approach life. While many struggle and push against obstacles, the top 1% move in harmony with the flow of universal energy. Here's the key insight. The universe is always responding to you, but it's not responding to your wishes. It's responding to your alignment. Think of it as a dance. If you're moving in sync with the rhythm, the dance feels effortless. But if you're out of step, no matter how hard you try, it feels like a struggle. Alignment is about syncing your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the reality you want to create. The universe communicates with you constantly, but not in words. 
It speaks through synchronicities, intuitive nudges, and patterns in your life. Have you ever thought about someone, and then they called you? Or noticed repeating numbers, like 11, 11, during moments of deep thought? These aren't random, they're signals. The top 1% don't dismiss these events as coincidences. They pay attention, trusting that the universe is guiding them toward their highest potential. Here's how you can start aligning with the universe. First, cultivate awareness. Slow down and notice the subtle signs around you. Instead of dismissing your intuition, listen to it. Your gut feelings are often the universe's way of steering you in the right direction. Next, practice trust. This is where most people falter. They doubt the process, trying to control every outcome. But the top 1% know that trust is the bridge between desire and manifestation. Let's finish with one of the most powerful forces in the universe, gratitude. Most people think of gratitude as a polite thank you for the good things in their lives. But for the top 1% gratitude is far more than an emotion. It's an energetic frequency that shapes reality itself. Here's why gratitude is so powerful. It shifts your focus from lack to abundance. When you're grateful, you're tuning into the energy of having rather than needing. And because the universe mirrors your energy, this frequency attracts more of what you're thankful for. Think of gratitude as the ultimate amplifier. It expands whatever you direct it toward. But here's where the top 1% take it to the next level. They practice anticipatory gratitude. They're not just grateful for what they have. They're grateful for what's on its way. Imagine ordering a package online. You don't sit around doubting whether it'll arrive you trust that it's already on its way. That's how the top 1% approach gratitude. They say, thank you for the abundance, success, and opportunities that are already on their way to me, even before they physically manifest. This doesn't just change your energy, it changes your actions. When you're grateful for the future, you naturally start acting in alignment with it. You make decisions from a place of trust and confidence, rather than fear or doubt. And that alignment speeds up the manifestation process. Gratitude also anchors you in the present moment, which is where all your power lies. When you're stuck worrying about the future or dwelling on the past, you're leaking energy. But when you're fully present, you're at the height of your creative power. The top 1% understand this. They use gratitude to ground themselves in the now, while simultaneously tuning into the energy of the future they want to create. Here's a practical exercise. Every day, write down three things you're grateful for not just what you have, but what you're calling into your life. Feel the gratitude as if those blessings are already here. This simple practice can shift your energy in profound ways. Gratitude isn't just a feel-good practice. It's a tool for bending reality. When you live in a state of gratitude, the universe can't help but respond in kind. So what are you grateful for today?